Hi. A few days ago I posted um, a couple of videos um, showing the development of um, a piece of kit for routing spare PV power to uh, heat our domestic hot water. Uh, the kit's now in the garage, um, seems to be installed and working nicely. So the big green box in the middle is our inverter, it's a knead up and it's currently generating uh, 1660 watts on this nice sunny Sunday afternoon uh, on Merseyside. Got a consumer unit up here, we've got our uh, import meter um, and the red light meat shows that we're exporting. We have the standard current clamp, I have um, an AC to AC um, transformer for the voltage sensor, Moving in here, we have the standard voltage and current sensor kit. We have an Arduino, and behind it we have a little board which shows how much power has been routed to the immersion. We have four lights, red, yellow, green and blue. The yellow means we're in the second quartile, so uh, on a three kilowatt uh, immersion heater system, that means we've got something between 750 and 1500 watts nominally going to the heater. And the only thing of other relevance is my trusty Carlo Gravazzi um, AC controller which has a 10 volt analog signal which comes out of the Arduino times 2 and a 24 volt AC supply and this is simply routing power um, up to the immersion heater. Uh, it routes whole cycles on a 64 cycle window in a distributed um, whole cycle zero crossing mode. So at the moment we're on something between quarter and a half power. We've got 1600 watts coming in and as you can see we're exporting. So if I were to disturb the system by putting on a kettle or something, I've got a 750 watt paint stripper here. One might expect when you put this on to go from, um, to, to lose one on the power rating. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we've lost one on the power rating. Each LED counts for 750 watts. I've put about 750 watts on. Still got similar power coming in. And we're still exporting. So that shows that my system reacts well um, to that. If I put the power off, then pretty shortly this should jump up, which it does. And we're still exporting. If I were to put full power on, that would take more power than the PV panels are currently able to do. We should lose um, full power, um, all power should be lost to the uh, immersion. Okay, so no power is going to be low immersion, but I've simply arranged that the onboard LED on pin 13 flashes. Every measurement cycle it just toggles. So if there's no power available, I have a positive indication that that's what's happening. If I go back to um, just taking 750, the flashing LED goes off, we're back to um, 1 on the power scale, and hopefully we will still be exporting. Now this doesn't show that we're exporting, but the absence of flashes means that we're not importing. It does take quite a while to, for exporting to show. If I were to turn the power off, there it is, come back again. And if I were to turn the power on, it generally stays showing that we're still um, exporting and we're down just at level, level one as we were before. Now it's a lovely day up here on Merseyside and uh, the problem today has been the system has been rattling along at uh, full temperature and we've been doing loads of washing to try to bring the temperature down so that the system would uh, work for demo purposes but one thing I can do uh, to show what happens when the system gets up to temperature if I simply turn off the feed to the immersion heater which is the uh, fourth switch on my consumer unit uh, turning it off as soon as I turn it off, the control system um, is no longer closed, there's no feedback, so the control system tries to turn the heater on, the immersion heater on, ever harder, 
to consume the excess power is unable to do so and as you can see the control system is now on full blue lights on and if I had the laptop you could see it was on setting 255 and needless to say we are exporting uh, big time so if I were to now turn the motion back on which is similar to the thermostat say if you uh, run off some water the thermostat clicks into the on position clicks it on and we're now pretty well back to well, we've overshot a bit there we are we're back into the second quartile of heating and we're still exporting now the real trick is when I do that operation are we charged or is the system quickly quick enough to respond because we've had a lot of debate about how these meters work so I have to repeat the test turning off the um, immersion perhaps we can see both together turn off the immersion so we're clearly still exporting the corner of my eye I can see the blue light is on so the control system is maxed out so if I turn on the immersion again watch what happens at the meter we've stopped exporting ah we got one flick I don't think I've seen that flick before so we've been charged one watt hours worth in that experiment let's try it again so the immersion's off all our spare power has been exported turn the immersion on and hopefully we will see no flicks this is how it normally works and so now the system is caught up with itself we're exporting nominally 50 watts and we should be back on middle power so that's how the system works um, that's the first time I've ever seen it um, give one flick but we've been charged one watt hour for a three kilowatt uh, change in the system um, presumably it depends where within the measurement cycle um, you make the change as to uh, how the uh, supply meter will respond but the supply meter has a, a small window where um, power can flow in or out and you're not charged and uh, export isn't shown but uh, it seems to be working uh, fine for us and we're certainly getting plenty of hot water. Signing out for now.